Hey everyone, Matthew of Mr. Domestic in partnership with Joanne to bring you a wool extravaganza. It's not generally a textile that I would go to because in my mind it feels a certain way and I really love the feel of other types of yarn. So I was really jazzed to be able to try out all of these different wool yarns from Joanne and I fell in love. When I show you what I made, your mind's gonna be blown. And I've never wanted to make apparel before with crochet. And now that I know about these three different types of wool yarn that I can get, I'm gonna keep going. I'm thinking a cardigan, I'm thinking some sweaters, but I'm definitely gonna go to town. I love the texture, I love the feel, and I love the look. It looks very, very expensive. So I'm gonna go over the three types of yarn that I got introduce you to a project that I made. Ta-da! Rainbow Tastic Scarf! I made a little end right here. Look at Rainbow! And I have a matching hat. I'll put it on later because I don't want to mess up my hair yet. But this is a simple single crochet pattern. It's single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch, single crochet, chain stitch. Then when you go up the other row, you alternate it and you just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it creates this lovely texture that I really like because it makes this yarn lighter and more wearable for more seasons. So these are the three types of yarn that I, I ordered. With these projects, I used this Patons, I believe it's pronounced Patons, Patons Alpaca Blend, which is, as we can see here, where is it, where is it, where is it? 60% acrylic, 22% acrylic, wool, 10% nylon, 8% alpaca. And this, the texture and the feel is phenomenal. So that's what the project is going to be. And I'm going to demo the stitch using this yarn. Put this aside since this is the main event. Then I got these Buttercream Lux Craft Roving. It uses the same size crochet hook, but it has a thicker feel. And what that is because I believe dun, 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 it is 100% wool. And even this, like the feel of it, I really dig it. I'm probably gonna make another scarf. I might actually make a jacket for Helena. I'm not sure, but I have big plans for this because look at these two colors. Like, ooh la la. This is one of my favorite combinations of colors is like a dark blue, a navy, and then a mustard. They go together. That's why every single pair of blue jeans has that color combination because ting, 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 automatically expensive. And then this one, I'm not gonna say this one's my favorite, but this one feels amazing. Like this one I wanna rub on my face, I would rub all over, I wouldn't feel like I needed to wear an undershirt if I made a garment with this. So this is probably something I'm gonna make a sweater for Helena with. Shh, don't tell her. That's why I got these awesome colors. This one is 51% acrylic, 27% polyamide, and 22% wool. This one also uses between a five and a 6.5 millimeter. Feels a little lighter, so I probably would reach for the 5.5 or six before the, the larger one, but the sky's the limit because my opportunities for creating crochet things has expanded because I'm now going to start playing with wool. So let's get into this project. I can't wait to show it to you because it's super simple. And it's definitely something that I am going to replicate over and over and over again, just because it like flattens it. Any of the more buoyant stitches makes it thicker, but it flattens it to where I feel like I can get the most utility out of it. So let's start with one of these. And I'll bring this scarf up for your pleasure. And I'll just give you what I did with this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. So this is twenty-six stitches. So I chained twenty-six, one more, moved up, and then went across the row, back and forth and back and forth. And honestly, I'm gonna go over the stitch, but I wanted this to be obnoxiously long. So I just finished out a skein from here to the end of here, and then I started the next color. 
That's what I would suggest to do. Definitely get two skeins of this, and after you play with it, you're going to want more. Then I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because who doesn't need a rainbow in their life? And I did four rows of each color before I moved up to the next. And then hit the, the yarn, really easy peasy, didn't take much, and added some fringe. Ta -da! So put this here, and then get into this. I'm going to chain 10, just go back and forth and back and forth to give you an idea of how to do the stitch. I'm creating my starter loop, like so. I am using a six millimeter hook. That's what I use on this project. Like this, and I'm going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten. And whenever I do the first chain, I always do it loosely. Now that I've been crocheting longer, I have the ability to do that with my hand. But if you're a newer crochet artist, I would suggest maybe going up to a 6.5 or 7, just one size above, and then it will make the rest of the crochet stretch about the same buoyancy. So now I've done 10. Ding, 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 beautiful. I'm going to chain one more. It's just the add-on, and now I'm going to go in this stitch, which is the second stitch from over. And then this is going to start out. Da -da -da. Single crochet. Okay, and then now chain one, and then I'm going to skip one, and I'm going in the bottom loop. I'm just going to go in here, skip that one, go here. And then single crochet. And then chain one, skip again. Da -da -da -da. Single crochet. Chain one. Da -da -da -da. Skip one, single crochet. Ta -da. Single crochet. And then I'm going to go ahead and single crochet here, since you can't do a chain over this. Boop -ba doo Single crochet! Yay! So now this is what this looks like. And now I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth. Chain two. To get up. I do one more than normal in my crochet on the sides. Once again, it's that stretchability factor. I'm more about even distribution of stretch than I am making sure that the sides are 100% ting ting crisp. So I've changed two, and now I'm going to go into this first gap where that chain one was. Single crochet, like so, chain one. Now find the next gap, single crochet. Chain one, next gap, single crochet. Chain one, single crochet. Chain one, and then in that last loop right here where the chain was before you started the next row, I just insert it somewhere in there. To me, it doesn't matter where it is, but I definitely want two loops on the outside so that goes like this. Move that out of the way. Okay. Single crochet, chain two. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth and back and forth and you'll see the texture start to happen. There's that first gap. So now I've gone one, two, three, four, five rows. And then I'm gonna do this final single crochet and this is how I would close it off. And when I go to a second color, I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, but a second color, I would essentially start in this loop and then pull this all the way here. So that one's done. And then when I'm going to add a second color, I would stick it in here like so. I have this gray just to show you how I would grab it like so and then pull it through. And then now I would start with the second color. And I found that to be the most fluid and succinct and crisp, as you can see on the row here. 
Like you can't really tell where the changeover happened, which side it was, and it's pretty straight all the way across. So this is the alternating single crochet chain stitch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really are as excited about wool as I am because it's opened my brain to all of the possibilities and I'm not going to be limited to just making amigurumi and scarves and hats and afghans. I'm going to next level this yarn journey of mine into sweaters and cardigans and lots of fun for years to come. So thank you Joanne for allowing me to share all of this with the Mr. Domestic community and everyone out there make sure to check the, out the links in the description below. So pour all this wonderful yarn goodness and the wool persuasion and keep it positive everyone. Keep it safe. Mr. Domestic out. Mm -hmm.